Fousey. Yeah, man. What, what, I, I didn't even know what the fuck a Fousey was until last week. Who is this clown? Fousey's just a faggot, right? So Fousey's this guy who just picks on small 19-year-olds and just slaps down. Oh, so he's a, he's an alpha in front of 19-year-old yeah. boys. In front of Bradley Martin, I see. he's scared. Uh, what happened in front of Bradley Martin? He's just scared. Oh, just you mean so in fun. that podcast where he ended, he, he was basically looking like a beta bitch, right? 100%. Fousey is a bitch, 100%. Fousey is a complete bitch. These are influencers are all bitches, 100% bitches. Fousey slapped this one guy who's like 40 kilograms body weight. He slapped Neon. <laughs> yeah, I think his name's Neon. You see Neon? Yeah, he's a little kid, man. So he's, he's like, I think, 16, 17. Oh, I saw him picking on him. Yeah, he's picking on him. Yo, he, yo, he threw water on his face, I think. Well, and Neon. And I wedged him in the middle of the fucking... Neon, the man. You're getting beat up in the streets, getting your shoes taken, getting smacked by people. Yeah, they're, right. getting, they're getting me wrong with, the, I think his name is Hassanabi, the Hassan Pike. Ah, name. okay. Well, shit, I'd be offended if uh, someone of my name was an LGBT supporter. His, 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 his Hassan is spelled with one S, mine's with two S's. That's good, man. That's good. But what do you think about all these influencers like Fousey acting gay for views? Because I think that's completely what it is. They're only acting gay because they know it's going to get uh, views. Uh, 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 that's selling your soul, uh, in my that, opinion. That, that, to me, is basically a person who um, doesn't think they have enough talent. To make it any other way, so they have to do it the degenerate way. And of course, Aiden Ross is going to promote him. <laughs> Aiden Ross could have promoted any fucking degeneracy there is. Um, listen, I have been in this game for about since March. That's about when for I sure. started. Yeah, that's when yeah. I started doing the podcast. Good numbers since March, right? Very good numbers. And I guess I started at the right time. The numerologist knew when to start it, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, anyways, um, when I look at all these uh, podcasters, and I've met a lot of them in the past. I think I spent like 30000 in dinners taking all these influencers out in the past couple months. Um, I feel that most of them are nothing but degenerates, low IQ, who have no business sense. Do you know how fucking embarrassed I'd be if I had a million followers and I couldn't generate 50K a month? Who do you know has a million followers doesn't generate uh, You can name them? I'm not going to name anyone, man. You, you really want me going... Um, but there's Call them out. Yeah, there's quite a few people out there who have a million followers and they can't make money. That's it. Totally and and, and here, here's the thing. Um, you're basically YouTube's bitch. I want I want to make this clear because you can't sell a product. You rely on YouTube, which means if you get out of the line, you get demonetized. Yeah. So again, they're gonna keep you in line like they're a bitch, and you're, they're gonna make more money off you. I mean, if YouTube's making. A hundred dollars, they might give the influencer two bucks, right? Yeah. Is that how it works? So basically, I, I have little respect for most of these influencers. They're mostly degenerate. They're mostly fucking losers. They they act like they're big, fat, you know, bad alphas. I, I think most of these people are fucking gay. That's what I think, man. Because they just sit there and think, if I get the most views possible, the most followers possible, I'm going to make money. What they don't realize is it's not just about as many views as possible. It's about the credibility and authority that goes with it. And it's about sharing a good message and actually inspiring people, educating people. But these faggots like Fousey Tube, he's just pretending to be Muslim and then is gay at the same time. I saw him basically stripping the, this taxi. I saw this clip online. He was like taking his clothes off in a taxi and then hugging, humping Sneeko against the window. It's like... These guys are weird. Yeah, Sneeko yeah. seems okay. I've seen Sneeko a couple I, times. I, I, but Fousey's a faggot. I 100%. think Sneeko is uh, going to be a star for a long time to come. But, I mean, stop platforming these fucking faggots. <laughs> I think it's because a lot of influencers pretend it's not that bad. And if they, if they overlook it because they're sat there thinking, all right, at least I'm getting paid from this. But what they don't realize is they're just promoting degeneracy to the youth. But at the same time, these guys are preaching positivity. You know what I mean? So Sneeko's preaching positivity. But then at the same time, whether he... I don't think he means it necessarily. He is a good guy, Sneeko, but he is promoting idiots. You know, Fuzi is a complete idiot. Mm, he, I'd love he, to fight Fuzi. <laughs> I don't think it would be hard to fight. He's on what, what drug rag? Uh, Just go to the his. mental ward hospital. I mean, can you imagine? Imagine being so mentally weak that you go to hospital for what? For you because you got people watching you on camera and now you're having a panic attack. Like for what? what bitch why? Shit, man. Listen, and then he slaps 19-year-old kids in his How downtime. are you the number one YouTuber? You decide, okay, fuck this. I have fuck you money. That's what he thought at the time when he quit. And uh, Let he, me tell blow, you a story he blows that. all his money on fucking drugs. And yeah. then he fucking has to go to rehab. He doesn't have the money for rehab. So he fucking calls Jake Paul and fucking begs him like a bitch. Yo, can, can, you, can you front me some money so I can go to rehab? How fucking embarrassing. Can, that... Crazy. Know you, know, you know a story about Fousey as well. So what he did is well, after he lost all his money, right? Mm -hmm. 
He called his parents, sold their house that he bought them to retire them. What? Yes. Sold their house, right? And then used that money and bought more drugs. And then his parents were homeless on the street. You fucking bitch. Yes. You would put your parents on the streets because of just your so drug he, addiction? Just so he could buy more drugs. Wow. And then in his downtime, because obviously that's not thrilling enough, he slaps 19-year-olds. Oh, okay. That's big, big, bad this alpha is, male. This is the problem with all these TikTokers and stuff. All these TikTokers, they just bully other young degenerate idiots to get more views, and then they get a bunch of degenerate idiots watching them. It's just this whole circle of idiots. You know, I'm going to tell you something, guys. Uh, those degenerates you have watching you, you're not going to be able to sell a product to any of them. Because they're all broke. They don't understand the value. They're broke. Yeah. See, 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 that's the problem. See, a lot of these people decided to go to the left. A lot of decided to basically. They have no money. Those people exactly. That's how you broke So here's the thing. It, it, the elite, they're gonna finance the top, the fucking uh, top of the elite, the the liberal uh, paradigm, like Logan Paul, fucking faggots like that. They're gonna fucking support them, make sure they're at the top. But the people who are under them, the people at the very bottom of the pyramid, they ain't paying. Yeah. They ain't buying anything. Let's see, the conservatives, they actually spend money. And the conservatives, if they actually believe in the cause, they will spend money. Liberals don't do that. So a lot of these liberal accounts with two, three, four million followers, they'd be lucky if they get 5K a month, bro. So true. So true. That's why you see all these big accounts, especially, you know, there's like girl accounts. Um, they're the ones who go on these TV shows in England. It's called Love Island. I'm not sure what mm -hmm. you guys call them in America. But like they promote these like hair extension products and these makeup products. The reason why they promote all these products is because they don't actually make any money. <laughs> they should have with 3 million followers. They can make millions. What what would you do if you had three million followers? How much money would you be pulling? Crazy. Anything. Even if a, I was just a, an affiliate for someone else's business. Eight figures for sure. Oh, a month, hundred yeah. percent. There's so many things you can do. You can build a software. You can sell that for hundred million. There's so many things you can do with three million followers. Nowadays, we live in an attention economy. Followers are so important. Attention is so important. But you have to have a good message. If you're promoting degeneracy, like you say, you're going to attract degenerate customers or potential customers. And they're never going to spend money on you. Because nope. they're spending money on their fucking drugs and alcohol. They're, and they're, they're spending money on their OnlyFans fucking hookups and stuff like that. I, d I didn't realize how big OnlyFans was because none of my friends are subscribed to these things. <laughs> but then I started realizing from other people that actually there are guys who subscribe to this. Obviously, that's how these girls are getting paid. Like, I've, never, I've never met these people in real life. Who are they physically? Like? Uh, probably men who don't get women. Probably men who are pretty poor. No, but this is the thing. Like, mm. You don't see these people in real life, right? No, they're, they're at they're, home. Yeah, they're at home. Dude. So they almost don't exist. If you don't see someone, you don't see a type of person. They almost don't exist, right? I don't know anyone. You're here in Trump Tower in Miami. You're just seeing the winners. So they don't exist to you or me. I don't, I don't know one person who subscribed to OnlyFans. No, that's what I'm saying. I don't know one fucking well, person. Because do I. I don't hang out with those type of people. Listen, if, if you're getting off on OnlyFans, I don't trust you. That's how Fousey lost all his money. One of the ways he lost all his money. He subscribed to like 500 OnlyFans girls at one time. It's fucked. Seriously? Yeah. 500? Yeah, that's what I heard from one of the guys in my private group.